The topic of a safer skies is front and center on Capitol Hills this morning, following congressional testimony from the chief of the FAA. As Kaplan's Kenneth Bueno reports, it was his first time facing lawmakers since the mid-air event on an Alaskan airline flight. Capitol Hill laid all eyes on Federal Aviation Administration Administrator Michael Whitaker speaking before a House subcommittee yesterday to address questions regarding air safety in the wake of numerous concerns. The safety of the flying public is our mission. For the first time since Whitaker gave his Senate confirmation in October of last year, he faced lawmakers ready with questions surrounding the Alaska Airlines incident in January, where a door plug fell off of the aircraft. The FAA grounded all Boeing 737 MAX 9s shortly thereafter. Make no mistake, this was a close call. Too close. The administration certified a more thorough inspection process of the MAX 9s and made changes to the way that the FAA handles commercial aircraft production weeks after the door plug incident. Whitaker addressed those concerns too. We now have uh, 20 uh, inspectors on the ground in Boeing uh, engaging with the employees in every phase of the manufacturing process. Whitaker also answered questions regarding the current shortage of air traffic controllers and an expanded controller training system in universities across the country. Increasing our controller ranks will help mitigate risks associated with controller fatigue. I'd like to see that. It hasn't been our initial focus. We're trying to work with the schools that are already sort of set into that space, but I don't see any reason why other schools, particularly those with a technical bent, uh, can't have this program as well. Kenneth Bueno, Kaplan News.